Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. At the Olympic Games, in women's swimming, all eyes will be focused on Missy Franklin, Natalie Coughlin, and Rebecca Sony. But another athlete may carry home just as much hardware, Dana Vollmer. Dana Vollmer's swimming career for the last 10 years, it's been a roller coaster ride. At the tender age of 12, she went to the 2000 Olympic Trials, got 47th. She was mad, she got 47th. At the 2004 Athens Games, she won gold in the 4x200 freestyle relay. In 2008, suffering from herniated discs and tendonitis, she failed to make the US Olympic team. By 2009 World Championships in Rome, she was back in top form, breaking an American record in the 200 free, which she quickly lost to Allison Schmidt. In Shanghai, at the 2011 World Championships, she carried home two goals and a silver. Dana's in a good place, the right place. Right after Worlds, she got married. I really think that having the wedding three weeks after Worlds was one of the main reasons that I was able to win a gold medal. I was thinking about what I was gonna do in three weeks. I was so happy with where I was in life. I wasn't stressed out. I knew that even if I got last, I was gonna get married in three weeks. Dana also trains under Terry McKeever at Cal Berkeley, the greatest female coach of all time, who recently won her third NCAA championship team title. And she's a US Olympic head coach this summer at the London Games. And Dana trains head to head with Natalie Coughlin, the greatest female swimmer of all time with 11 Olympic races and 11 Olympic medals won. Dana's cornerstone event, the 100 butterfly. At Worlds in Shanghai, she went 56-4 in the semis and a 56-8 to win the gold. But on the 4x100 medley relay on the fly leg, she split a 55-74. Now that's her goal time for a very specific reason. Well, I know the world record's 56-0, and so she's got to get under there. It'd be a 59, 55, and um, you know I feel like I have it in me. I knew I've changed a lot of things since Worlds when I was 56-4, and I feel better. I feel stronger. So it's just about putting it all together and uh, doing it in one race. I recently caught up with Dana Vollmer at a USA Fitness Challenge in Austin, Texas. I wanted to know a little more about the evolution of her butterfly and why she's been so successful. Because she went from being a side breather to a front breather on Coach McKeever's advice. There's so many new things that I've learned about my fly. Just looking back at my fly either in 2004 and 2008 and it, it feels completely different. There's something unique and special about the way that I send the butterfly compared to how I used to. and that, since it's new, I have to train it, I have to practice it, I have to get used to it. I've been doing the fastest fly I've ever done in practice consistently in the past couple weeks and going going into the Indy Grand Prix, it felt great. I have a lot more confidence now after being able to pop off a great 209, 200 fly. Didn't know, wasn't really expecting to do that. And, uh, but finding that rhythm and finding that balance for me, I was just able to keep that speed throughout a 200, which I've never been able to do before. And I have the front end speed and so now I'm even more confident in my back half speed and so just putting it all together I, I feel pretty confidently that, that I'll be able to go best time. Dana will not be swimming the 200 butterfly at US Olympic trials. Here's your trial schedule that we know of. And here's her potential Olympic Games schedule, if everything goes right, which could set her up for six Olympic medals in London. With such lofty goals, Dana closes us out, explaining how she deals with the pressures to perform. Right now, when, if I think about trials and wanting to go to the Olympics and wanting to win a gold medal in the 100 fly, I still get nervous. And so that's not what I can focus on. I have to focus each day assess how much can I give that day. If I only have 70% for whatever reason, then I'm gonna give that full 70%. I'm gonna eat right, I'm gonna hydrate, I'm gonna go to bed early, I'm gonna do all the little things that I can do every day, and then that gives me the confidence that by the time I get to trials, I will have done everything that I could have. And making the team is obviously a huge goal, but going there and having fun, trials is one of the most exciting meets anyone can watch. There's fireworks, there's just amazing swimming, there's more fans than are at any swim meet in the US, and it's such an amazing environment to be in that I'm hoping that I can go in, just absorb my environment, have a great time, swim as fast as I possibly can, get myself on that team, and then refocus. 